Hello and good morning to all of you beautiful people. Um, so today I'm going to be unboxing a new clothes organizational thing that I got. Um, but basically I've been keeping all my clothes in this hot mess plastic drawers and that's it. Since I moved back to my parents house that is my only form of clothes storage that I have and it's been really, really hard living out of plastic drawers. Oh, you don't even know. So I went online and I went on Amazon and I got myself like a little closet thing that has the zip, zip around material over it. So if you don't want to look at your clothes, you can just close it up and it won't be exposed. Um, so I just got it in the mail now and I'm going to basically... <sighs> Put it together and organize my clothes in there and then organize my room. I'm thinking of putting it over there. So it's going to be a busy day and you're going to be here with me to watch. Are there instruction manuals? Because I don't see any. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, step one is H3. Okay, so we need. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. So I see step one is on page four. Hello, so yes, I have finished building my new clothes organizer. I'm really excited. This is what it looks like right here. Um, so yeah, it's going to have shelves there. I'm going to be able to hang my any garments or shirts or blouses there. And then we have another six shelves here. And um, I'm supposed to like have this divider in the middle. And tie it down so that I can zipper it up and down if I need to. But I think I'd rather have it like at the top. 
sorry I missed <laughs> there we go at the top and just have it fold it all the way back so that the whole middle section can be exposed because I want to have my shoes and my purses there and actually make it look really cute and organized so um, I'm gonna be moving this whole entire like clothing thing along from this door all the way over there so all that stuff has to get moved around and I have to find a new home for it um, so yeah I need to get to organizing I need to move stuff around in my room all that stuff is gonna be gone it'll be here nice and organized and I'll have more space hopefully for other things um, although it might look a little jammed because I do have to move that bookshelf and I'm thinking of moving that bookshelf and squeezing it in between my that table and this table um, I don't know, we'll see how that works. update on what is happening underneath my entertainment setup um, as you can see all the plastic drawers have been emptied and I'm going to throw all of that stuff away because I don't need it anymore um, basically I kept these three drawers right here and as you saw I organized it so that I have my pajama um, my pajama shirt and t-shirt and pajama pants and shorts and workout clothes are in these two drawers and then in the top drawer I have my socks underwear and bras all together um, so I'm gonna get rid of this so this will be just like my pajama slash changing drawer you know it has the basics um, yeah so when I need PJs I could just come over here and grab whatever I need I have to finish cleaning this side of my room. This is all the stuff that was behind this chair. I had this chair diagonal in that corner and behind it was just like a ton of junk. And I did have it on these shelves but I'm reading more and more books. Uh, my book collection has grown so much in the last couple of months. I've already read I think four books in the last two months. So I basically like as soon as I finish a book I start reading a new one and the book I'm reading now I'm practically done with it so what I have to do now is go through all of the stuff find a new place for it I'm thinking I can condense it down and move it over to that corner and have it all underneath there because a lot of it is like video game stuff um, I have some techie stuff from when I was like learning how computers work and all things like that <laughs> yeah and then my sage for when I like to clear out the energy in my room, don't make fun of me. And then this just has like all games and magic cards and stuff like that. Um, and then underneath that I have this big bin which I keep all my sandals and flats and shoes like that. And that's going to go back under that chair. So when that's set up I'll show you. Um, I might move some stuff around on my bookshelf as well. But 
that's probably going to stay the way that it is because I like the way it looks. So yeah, that has to be organized. That's going back over there. I need to get rid of that stuff, maybe move some stuff around over there, get all this stuff organized, and uh, I think we'll be good after that and my room will be back to being clean. Oh. Oh my god. So, I finally, finally finished cleaning and organizing my room again for the second time this week, but this time I have clothes storage. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the work that I did today. Let me just take one more sip because I'm hella thirsty. Mm. Okay, let me put my annoying cup down so it's not making noise while I'm speaking. So, uh, I think we'll start in this corner. So, basically what I did was, first thing is, I moved my son's letters at the top because they were being cut up by this big closet that I got. Like, the L was starting way over there and it looked weird. So, I moved the letters over and kind of centered this little area. So, that's kind of just like my little makeup area. And I would love to have a mirror here to do my makeup, but... There is a ledge here, so I couldn't really sit there and do makeup, but for now, it works perfectly. When I do want to play with makeup, I just grab what I need, and um, it works totally fine so far. So that's all my makeup, and then to the left of the makeup, we have the new closet space, and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I feel like all of my clothes fit perfectly perfectly plus there's room to grow I know it may seem like the bar is full of clothes but it's really not I separated it out so it looks nice and even um, but you know I could definitely fit a lot more garments on the rod um, so up here I have all of my jeans and long pants just stacked neatly right there then in this bin I have camis in this bin I have colored camis and in this bin, I have all of my leggings and stockings. And then in the center, underneath my garments, I keep these three handbags here because these are all the bags that I'll take to work. Like, I mostly take this bag to work with me every time I go to work because I like to carry my books and my journals and sketchbooks and stuff. But sometimes if I go to work and I need to change and bring clothes, I'll bring the bigger canvas bag. Um, and then I also have a third canvas bag that I will use when I go into the city or when I want a little book bag, I have that ready. But for the most part, I use these bags all the time, every day, because I work every day. So next to that, I have this little organizer that I got from Five Below. It was literally $5 and it's super cute. And I keep all of my jewelry here. Um, and I keep that on top of this little box, which is my personal box. I'm not going to show you guys what's in there, but it's... It's more like journals and personal stuff like that, so there's nothing interesting in there, and I don't feel like opening it, but it's my little special box there. Then on the bottom, you can see I have all of my boots and shoes nicely lined up and visible, so I know what will match with what and what I have and what's in good condition and what's not in the bottom there. Then in this bin, I have all of my dresses and skirts and rompers from the summertime that I won't be wearing this fall or this winter. And I have it in one of these um, storage boxes that isn't see-through because I don't want to see it. It's for a different season, but for now it's going there. Above that, I have another clear drawer. And in here, I just keep my belts and wrap-arounds and things like that of that nature all in there. And then above that, I have all of my handbags. I don't have very many. I have like three or four of them. I used to have a huge collection, but once again, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff and just keep the basics. This is like my favorite bag of all time. It's a guest bag. I paid like God knows how much for it at the time, and it's just big and chunky, and I don't know. I just love this bag. Um, and then my fake Chanel, and then my other... I don't even know what that is, but just another quilted bag there. So I keep little handbags there. And then in the final shelf, I just have shorts and mini skirts there. 
Um, and then here I keep my scarves on a hanger like this. So I could just quickly see like what scarf I want to wear and all that. And I kept a few jackets and sweaters on the left side of the rod. So it's, they're easy to find. If I need to find a sweater, I know what area to look in. And then the rest is just shirts and blouses just hanging here. And then on the very far side, I have a couple of dresses. Um, and then in this thing, this was where I used to keep my makeup when I first moved here. But obviously my collection has grown. Um, so right now it's kind of holding miscellaneous junk. It's kind of holding like some hair supplies, hair clips, uh, um, body measuring tape thing. Um, nothing special. It's probably going to hold gloves and winter accessories and or maybe some hair stuff too. But for right now it's there doing its little job. So we'll just leave it there for now. So yeah, there is the closet. I really, really loved the way it turned out, and I'm very happy with it. Um, and then over here, I have just my little lamp with the little shelf unit on it, and I keep a picture of my son, which is my favorite picture ever because he's so cheesy and cute and fat, and uh, I miss holding him and kissing him and biting him. Um, that picture makes me happy. And then next to that, I keep this little... Um, this is called a, a Thailand Spirit House. I got it at a garden shop. And the reason I got it was because I really love to meditate. And sometimes when I meditate, I'll put this in front of me or next to me. And I imagine myself inside of it playing with my son. And, you know, it's just like a good way to focus your meditation. You don't always need something like this. But, I don't know, it just it inspires me and it makes me feel really nostalgic and... It really helps me visualize like playing with my son and things like that and I know you probably think I'm crazy for those of you that don't know anything about spirituality but I do meditate and um, to me that's normal so that's my new normal right there so I keep that there and then on the side here I have a standing mirror that's broken but this is the mirror I pull out when I want to look at outfits or do my makeup or do anything else um, so I just pull it out and lean it out on stuff nothing fancy or anything and then over here I keep one of my newest paintings because I want to hang it back there behind the lamp um, it's one of my favorite paintings so I want to hang on to it a little a little longer before I decide to sell it because I really like it and it um, reminds me of the next set of paintings I want to do because I did a certain technique on these mountains and so by looking at it every day I'm reminded that that's the new technique I need to work on so that guy's hanging around here and so I hang him up same thing with this guy this was my first oil painting ever so I like to keep him around to keep me motivated and just remind me like where I came from and how much fun it was with my first oil painting and I plan on hanging him here, like, above this little seating area. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes because it's not flush against the wall. So, I'd have to, like, make it work somehow. But for right now, I'm just leaning him against this windowsill. And we're going to see how that works. Um, but I do want to keep him out and hang him up if I can. Um, then I have my little seating <coughs> area. I decided to keep the double seats or the love seat wicker chair because I like to keep all of my flats and small sneakers and sandals in those four bins there um, and that slides perfectly underneath the chair and it's like kind of out of sight you know what I mean but if I need to like grab shoes I can like very easily like pull it out and grab whatever basket I need with whatever shoes that I'm looking for so yeah that's the little seating area and then to the left of that I have what I like to call my altar slash shrine and I know it's really creepy and oh look you can see my reflection um but bear with me you guys I'm still going through a tough time it's not easy the pain doesn't go away and so basically I like to keep a picture of my son here with his mask card there and then at night I like to light incense or when I meditate or when I can't sleep because I'm scared or whatever like I like to light incense it always makes me feel better um, and it's really messy as you can see it gets everywhere but 
Um, and then next to that, I have this little, like, organizer thing. You can close it. Um, but there's, like, stuff back there, so it won't close all the way. Um, and then I keep, like, extra mask cards there of my son and some hair clips. And then in here, I keep bobby pins and hair ties. And then here, I keep more hair ties and clips. And my tweezers. So, I love this little mirror. Hi, I can see myself. And this is where I go when I want to do my eyebrows. Or if I need a mirror to do my makeup on the floor, sometimes I'll grab this thing. But for the most part, I keep it here. And that's kind of like my little Logan shrine area. And then underneath there, I have this box full of his stuff. Um... Just a few things here and there that were special to him, and it's now going to be special to me forever. It's my special box. Only I'm allowed to open this box. You know, this is this is what I have left of my son in there. You know what I mean? So, this is an awesome book. Don't get the regular version. Get it in plain English because the regular version is basically like this ancient old English script that is like... It's, it's not hard to understand if you read a lot and you have good reading comprehension, but for someone like me that doesn't have time to reread a sentence three times to understand what they're trying to say, it has on the opposite side of each page a more dummied down version of what they're trying to say. So if you read the story um, using just the right side, it's an amazing story, you guys. It's all about God talking to Adam from Adam and Eve about the war that happened in heaven, what happened with Satan, how he got kicked out of heaven. And um, the way that he writes it is very um, descriptive and it just it, it gives you really great visuals. And this book is so inspiring. It makes me, it's what inspires me to paint like my paintings with temples and stuff. Because I just love this book and I actually want to reread this. This is a great book. I keep recommending it to people, but people won't read it because nobody's a loser like I am. <laughs> I like to read books like this. But if you're looking for a good book, check out Paradise Lost in plain English. It's a great, great read. So check that out. That's there. Um, and then this is another great book that I found from someone, I forget who, but it's basically all Hans um, Anderson, Hans Christian Anderson's, all of his original fairy tales. Um, and they have really cool artwork in here. It's like the wood um, printing. Um, so the stories are amazing. Like the original stories, like the, <clears throat> the original Cinderella, the original Snow Queen is in here. And... It is just so awesome. I love this book. And out of all these stories, besides the Snow Queen, I recommend The Traveler's Companion. Read that story. You'll get chills. I get chills every time I read it. And then on the bottom here, I just have this little book storage box where I keep oh, my cigarettes again. In this bottom here, I keep this box book storage. And here I just have my sage and my incense. There, I keep the book called The Keys of Enoch here. This book that I just read is called Jeans, Giants, Monsters, and Men. Very interesting. Another spiritual book. It's kind of like Indian sayings and stuff like that. Yin, yang, all that good stuff. There. This book is so trippy. Like, I keep trying to read it, and it's so crazy. Like, the stuff that it talks about, like, yeah, um... Look it up. It's called The Keys of Enoch. It's insane. Um, so I keep that there. Okay, we're almost done here. So at my desk, I have a picture of my son here that I got from my parents when he was first born. My soda. We'll ignore that. So over here, I just have this kind of... Um, mail organizer I guess you would call it I have my cryptograms there which is puzzles that I like to do all the time to keep my brain sharp my selfie stick I kind of shove in there too this is my comic book that I currently am working on and then this pencil holder pencil pouch has all the markers and pens and pencils for my comic book so I could just grab the both of them together and go 
Um, then I keep a few little journals. This is a journal my sister got for me from France, and I've never written in it, and I've had it for years, and I don't want to write in it. Um, and it's got three women on it, which reminds me of my sisters, because there's three of us. So I keep that there just because it looks really pretty, and I like it. And then this one I got from the Dollar Tree, and it matched perfectly. And in here, I like to write all my YouTube ideas or if I need to take quick notes on stuff that's not important that I don't need to put in my Midori, I write it in this little book. Um, and then this thing I got from Barnes & Noble and basically it has a to-do list and a bunch of stickies and I like to stick these in my Midori because they're the perfect size. And if you don't know what a Midori is, it's basically a leather, a real leather jour traveler's journal that you can customize with your own inserts and things like that. I already have a video where I'm unboxing my Midori and I'm putting it together, so I'll put that link in the description box down below so you can go check that out. Um, I love my Midori and I love using these stickers for it. And uh, yeah, so I love this little book. I keep that there because I use it a lot. Um, these stickers are for my pink Bible. I just haven't put them out yet. It's basically like the tabs for each chapter and things like that. So I keep that in my passport here because when I go out to Boston and I want to go to a bar and stuff, they don't take my mass ID. So I always bring my passport with me. Um, then I have some hand lotion in here. And then here I keep pens and pencils and I like to use colored pens they're off my all my pens are from the Dollar Tree um, unless a pen is really nice and really worth it I don't believe in paying more than like two dollars for a pen and nowadays pens are so expensive and Dollar Tree pens like these work perfectly fine for me and like I got all four of those colors for a dollar and I basically bought two packs so anyways these are all my pens here and then in these drawers, it's filled with junk, um, whiteout, washi tape, an extra card for my camera, a little multi-purpose tool for when I need like little things here and there. Um, yeah, I use this more often than I think. And the pouch for my Midori as well. And then in this drawer, I don't even know what I have. Oh yeah, I have like a thing of change for change. Um, and a deck of playing cards back there. And then here is this little organizer. Not an organizer, but it basically just has sticky notes and sticky tabs for journaling. And for my Midori, I got this at CVS. It's also got a nice little calendar here. Um, so it's basically like I can write stuff down and stick it on my Midori. Um, and it's got like extra colors and things like that. So this is really handy to have. So I keep that there on top of my desk. And that is all of my desk. And then next to that, I have my drawers full of my journals and things like that. And you've seen my crystals before. Here they are again. Just, you know, sitting in their salt. And this is getting like way too overloaded with stuff. I need like a bigger crystal holder organizer thing. But for right now, that's where all my crystals are. And I just put them here the other day. So with some new fresh salt. Um, I have another candle from Bath and Body Works. This is in autumn. This smells really good. It smells like green apples. Um, it's not as strong as my other one. But it still smells really good. And I'm practically finished with it. So I really like that candle a lot. Then here is a candle holder and in this candle holder I keep these specific candles from the Dollar Tree and I absolutely love these candles because the wick is is like a it's like a piece of wood and it's like this this long piece of wood like that and so when it burns it crackles and it burns like a fire basically and I light this at night when I'm sleeping and like the whole night I just hear fire crackling and I love it so I bought like five of these candles. I Every time I go to Dollar Tree with extra cash I'll buy more of these candles because at Dollar Tree you never know when stuff's going to run out and they if they're going to restock it or not so I love these candles and this one needs to be replaced almost already and yeah it's just really soothing 
and it's awesome it's scented but you obviously can't smell it because it's from the Dollar Tree but I do get the blue one because the other ones smell really strong and this one smells the faintest so if it does smell I don't want to smell it if that makes any sense like they have like a berry one I think that would probably smell really bad if it was burning but this one like you can't smell anything so I stick with this one and this is in Paradise Spa so yeah, you should check these candles out. They're really good. If you like fire and you like crackling fire, definitely do that. Um, and then lastly over here in this big hot mess of stuff is a foldable table that I took, I stole from my dad's basement. <laughs> and I use it for my computers because I am a tech geek. And... I just have way too much technology. I can't even fit it all here. I have a Mac computer right now that I'm currently using. I also have a regular PC. They're both plugged into this um, monitor here, which is a regular HD TV. And if I ever need to switch between computers, I can do that. I can use both computers with this one keyboard because I have this program named Synergy, so if I ever need to go from a PC to a Mac or from a Mac to a PC, all I have to do is change the input on my TV and I can just use the same keyboard without having to unplug anything or having two keyboards or you know, being crazy. So it's a really good setup. I've had this computer for five years now. It still works really good. I just cleaned it out. I just did a disk cleanup. And organized it so it's working even better now and I uninstalled a ton of stuff on it so this mostly has like a ton of movies I mean like just five years of downloading movies on here as well as every single video and picture I've ever had of my son because I used to I used to connect my iPod to it and import all my pictures and then delete them after the import um, so this is like a data bank of my son's life, so I need to back this up ASAP because God forbid something happens to the CPU and it hasn't been turned on in a long time. Um, and you know, it is getting old now and it's get, it gave me the blue screen a couple times since I moved back to my parents' house, so I'm kind of nervous about that, but, um, for now it's doing good, um. And it just has a little wireless receiver thing here because, unfortunately, Asus at the time did not come with a Wi-Fi chip, which was really stupid. Anyways, I fixed the problem and I'm able to get Wi-Fi just fine. Um, and then I keep this Logitech controller because I like to play old Nintendo and Super Nintendo simulators and emulators and all that stuff on my computers. So... I like to play like Mario and Yoshi's Island and Act Razor and all those awesome games on my computer because I am that nerdy. I admit it. I am that nerdy. Um, so yeah, and then this is the Mac Mini I just got and it works fine. It's awesome. It's great. I love it. Um, and then there's my big TV. And then on this side, I keep my big giant printer, scanner, fax machine thing here. Um, I was using it to scan my artwork. I don't need to do it right now but whenever I do need to scan artwork I can do that if I need to print something I can do that I just loaded it with brand new ink so it's like ready to rock I love this thing and it's really big and bulky but it gets the job done and then on top of that I keep three stuffed animals that are very sentimental to me obviously this was my son's stuffed animal and then this one these two stuffed animals I grew up with, and I always kept them because if I ever had a son, I w was going to give him this one. And if I ever have a daughter, I was going to give her this one. And when I had Logan, I gave him this toy. And we used to joke that it looks kind of like him, like his big cheeks and smile. Um, so I keep those three together, and I can see them directly from my bed. So at night, I like to look at them sometimes and imagine that it's me and Logan. Um, and then behind the big bulky TV, I keep this thing here, which is basically like a cloth rectangular storage basket. And in there, I keep my coconut oil. I keep alcohol because I like to clean with alcohol. I keep more of those Dollar Tree candles that I was telling you about. Like, this is like a stack of three of them right here. Um, I keep white candles because one time my parents' electricity went out, so we went to Dollar Tree and bought a bunch of candles, and we still have a couple, so I have two of those. 
Um, and then I keep all of my vitamins here in the back. My vitamins, my pills, and I keep a big thing of smart water here. And then in the mornings, I could just quickly take my vitamins and not forget. And then here, I have two pairs of glasses. They're the exact same pair. Um, the, the reason why they're the exact same pair is because I bought one of them while my son was alive. And I forget what happened, but they cracked and I had just bought in them. And they were BB glasses. And I really liked them and I wanted the same pair that wasn't cracked. So I went and got the same exact pair. <clears throat> so now I have two pairs. And the good pair I keep in here with the nice cloth that it comes with. And I mostly use these in my room or when I need to drive. Um, mostly when I need to drive because I'm afraid that they'll crack again. And then when I'm around the house, when I'm in my room... When I need glasses, but I don't care what they look like, I will wear the dorky broken ones. Um, yeah, so I try to wear these more often, like when I'm home, just so I don't have to worry if they break or not. So the nice ones I save mostly for when I'm driving or if I need to wear them to work or something. So you can make fun of me all you want. I am excessive, but it works for me. So, yeah. And then, underneath that... I saved these three drawers and I kept my underwear, socks, and bras in the top drawer, all of my pajama shirts and t-shirts in the second drawer, and all of my pajama pants and shorts and also like workout pants in the very bottom drawer there. Um, I moved all of those gray baskets full of junk to that little corner, um, so I have all of my video games regular games and electric junk stuff in that corner and then I just slide my hamper basket underneath the table like that and then there's my little space heater and then across from all of that finally is my bed this is not a real bed it's an air mattress but it's the most comfortable air mattress of life I sleep better on it than I've ever have on any bed in my entire life I have never been able to sleep my whole life, but on this bed, I knock out. I love it. Um, and then back there, on the windowsill, I keep a picture of my son, where he looks like he's like on a ton of pillows. So I like to keep it in between my pillows, so it looks like he's like in the bed snuggling with me. And um, yeah, so that's my bed. I love pillows, so I have a ton of extra pillows. Then here I keep this little book light from Dollar Tree, so when I read at night, um, that's the book I'm currently reading. And then on this windowsill, I keep a flashlight for if I get scared at night for whatever reason. Like, I don't know, I am a scary cat like that. And then I keep another picture of my son with the rosary beads that used to hang over his crib there. And a palette light a palette knife that he used to play with there. Um, so usually I have my window open, but it's obviously it's getting into fall now and getting cold, so I keep it closed. So let me give you a final spin of my room. So yeah, there you have it, you guys. That's what I've been working on all freaking day. I am so tired. Literally from about noon till about 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, I've been cleaning. And it's it's like 8 o'clock right now. So I'm exhausted. I think I'm finally ready to take a shower and relax if people in the house let me. Um... I'm going to go take a shower. Thank you so much for staying with me in this very long video. It was a lot of work. And hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Stay tuned for more. And check out the description box for some links to some of my other videos. And also I'll link the new closet organizer and where I got it from down below. So you can go check that out. And uh, don't forget to leave me a comment. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I will talk to all of you guys later. Bye.